Hey there guys, Neil here, back with a game review. So this is a fun little game, it's available for Android and iOS for free, where the purpose of the game is to basically just get your red block into the hole. Um, so while that may sound simple enough, um, the levels themselves are actually pretty trippy because they play tricks on your eyes in order for you to get around the level. If you've played games like uh, Monument Valley, then um, you kind of get the basic premise of it, but this is simplified more, uh, and you can tell based on the um, general um, start screen of the game, that's going to be a minimalist kind of game. And... Um, from there, you basically just start the simple levels, and they get more complicated from there. Um, the game also offers uh, the ability to create your own levels, so um, and see popular levels, things like that. So I'll jump into that in a little bit. Um, it has very straightforward um, options, so if you want to turn your sounds on and off, and that's really about it. Um, you can um, share your um, the, share the game if you want. Um, and you can sign into if you're on Android, you can sign into Google Play Games. I'm assuming there's um, also the um, iOS version of it. So if you want to check leaderboards and stats and that sort of thing, then um, there is um, that option as well. So with that, I'll jump into it. I'll start at one of the or at the early levels, and we'll go from there. And um, as you can see, as you complete levels, you also get the preview of what that level was like. So um, just so you know where it was at and uh, kind of how it's building and progressing from there. So as you can see, this the first level is pretty simple. You get you have the ability to swipe and you can also touch, which is in the uh, one of the next levels. Um, but it starts simple, so you get an idea of the game um, and kind of where they're going. So as you approach corners and you do need to, the brick will stop. So if you need to change directions or go in a different direction, then... Um, it'll build upon that as well. So as you can see in this case, um, you can, and then they'll give you directions that are available as well, but as you can see, um, the direction changes, the level just um, changes dimensions a little bit, kind of like the um, endless infinity, I think the Mobius strip is what it's called. So um, as you can see, as you um, uh, move your block around the level, it's gonna suddenly change perspective. So in order to get to the end, um, you do have to be able to kind of see that path as you work your way around the level and go from there. So in this case, similar thing. It's um, um, an Amobius triangle, I guess. So as you can see, it changes that direction based on the infinity design. So um, not overly complex yet, but uh, it is getting there. So... Um, as we get through the level or get to the next level, you'll see that there's um, slightly more in, or slightly increasing level of difficulty. So as you get go higher and higher in levels, you do get more complicated levels. Um, so those are some of the early levels. So I'm going to jump into one of the or the level that I'm um, at at the moment, which is a little bit more complicated. I actually haven't had a chance to check it out yet, but um, as you can see, it's a little, it, it is uh, more complicated than some of the um, other uh, levels that we have so far. So um, it's a matter of uh, getting around the level and um, figuring out exactly where you need to go. Um, and I guess it wasn't as complicated as I thought, but it does have that complexity to it. So, um, there's that. And then I just uh, reached level 10, so I unlocked that achievement. Um, so to me, this first line that it, the block is going across looks, uh, slanted, but I guess it is not. Um, but it is a matter of figuring out how to get across or get to that the proper side in order to get to the right uh, brick. So, um, pretty nifty game. It is worth checking out. Uh, very smooth graphics, very minimalist. And um, I think reading the description, there's something like 100 levels. So, um, I'll read it later. But I do like the game. And as you can see, um, or I guess at some point, you do have to buy the game in order for you to get some of the later levels. So, um, let's see how much the game itself costs. Um, the initial levels, though, are free to play, and then if you want to complete, get buy the game in full, it does cost you ninety nine cents. So not an overly expensive game, and it's based on what I've seen so far, definitely worth it. So um, I'll see if actually if the creating the level is available in the first 
um, 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 I guess it is available in the free version, so, um, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing here, but, um, you can, uh, build your own level, so if you, um, want to make those connections, then, or I guess you have to click on that cell, so, um, in order for you to make those connections, you do need to, or you turn them on and off based on, um, well, where you click and you do have those, um, uh, let's see, let's pick a star point there, and destination point, uh, let's put it there, so you have to figure out how to get yourself, um, to the level, so you can create your own levels, and if you want, you can share them as well, so you can create something as complicated or simple as you want, and, um, you do have a full grid, so I get, I'm guessing one of the later levels is a completely, um, full, um, grid of stuff to create, so, Overall, a very feature pad game, especially since it looks like the first um, half of the um, game is free and the second half is 99 cents, but definitely worth a shot. And if you do like puzzle games where you have to reach the end of the level with a little bit of fix, uh, physics and um, eye tricks built in, then definitely check it out. The game is called Hocus. As I mentioned, it's available for iOS in the App Store and available for Android in Google Play. So that's all there is for that. Um, Hocus available for Android and iOS. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything like that, you can uh, email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com. You can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. Um, this review and all reviews can be found on YouTube at youtube.com slash PatelN01. And of course, you can find all of the related links at past episodes, uh, po- past podcast episodes, and all of that good stuff on the website at PatelN01.com. But that's all there is for this review. Thanks for watching and listening, and until next time.